Cybertruck coffee setup. This is uh, something that we've been working on for a bit of time and I really wanna share that with you all today. It's a big collaboration between myself, Muay Coffee Roasters and Voltage Coffee Supply. Uh, we have so many cool things to share with you today. This is Ming. Yeah, so um, name TBD, but uh, we call this our coffee technology platform. Yeah, like Brian said, this is a really fun collaboration that we've had like brewing for quite a while. It's gonna be Probably the most ridiculous setup for serving coffee out in the world, outside of a coffee shop. And we can't wait to show you kind of what we have planned. We're here at uh, Moonwake Coffee Roasters HQ R&D Center, <laughs> AKA our house. <laughs> but yeah, we just got this truck wrapped and uh, we're gonna hopefully do some quick demos and proof of concepts today to see if it all works, but uh, it'll give you a really good idea of what's to come. Yeah, and we definitely want to see what you guys are interested in. Any sort of ridiculous coffee equipment, all of that. That is something that we will most likely be able to put on the truck, but we'll show you guys what we have now. I'm going to have Ming do a, a tour of the truck as well. This is such a dope project. Like, I, I'm so excited this is happening, and um, it's just going to be such an amazing presentation of what you can do in the coffee world. It is possible to have ridiculously uh, amazing coffee in a mobile setup, and this is going to be one of the very few that's just fully electric. But yeah, without further ado, let's go and show off the truck and show off what uh, has been done. So this is a 2024 uh, Cybertruck. It is the uh, dual motor version. Um, we just had it wrapped, so this is the, the Moonwake Blue, as well as our logos. And my favorite part, which I can't wait to show, is unintentionally we didn't think about what it would look like when you only have one door open. But it says Moo Coffee, which is better than we could have ever planned it. <laughs> but yeah, let me, uh, let me show you guys what we got so far. Go through some basic features yeah. of the truck. It makes sense to use this as a technology platform because it itself is quite an advancement in technology. If you want to take a look in here, this is the foundation series. Um, so it's the, the first group of trucks that came out. It has a couple of unique things because of that. Some unique foundation badges kind of throughout. Nice white interior. One of the cool things is the, the amount of like storage and power that this mm -hmm. thing can supply, which is super relevant for coffee. Um, one of the nice things is like a lot of 120 volt outlets everywhere. Uh, don't see a lot of people talking about it, but one of the big reasons we got it is like this back area um, folds up and it's a huge amount of space. And we're gonna store a lot of like, you know, refrigerator, freezer type equipment in here. There's a 120 volt outlet down there in the secondary display in the back. Um, so it's gonna be great in terms of the interior. In terms of like other ways to show off coffee tech, we have a powered frontier. trunk as well. So not a ton of room, but because it's powered and it's easy to access uh, and there's no like lip in front, quick grab easy things we can, you know, store here for quick storage or we can actually display like products. Yeah, um, put, cut, put your coffee boxes here. Put, yeah, you can even put have coffee drinks here. Have <laughs> people grab drinks. <laughs> serve, yeah. serve your drinks out of here. Yeah, or even just spare supplies, a lot of really cool options. Let me take you guys around the back where most of the really, really magical stuff is gonna happen. Now we're at the back and I think this is what is gonna be super cool for us to show you. There you go. Yeah. So this is where we're gonna store a lot of the equipment and have a lot of that come out and be used at farmer's market, at events. Um, one of the, the coolest things about this truck that really can't be rec replicated anywhere else is it is a massive power plant for electrical equipment. Um, we have plugs throughout the cabin, but we also have you know, our main outlets here, including finally what I've wanted forever, uh, 240 volt. 240 <laughs> in a electric truck. Yeah. That means a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's, you know, power levels over 9,000 watts. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's finally enough to, you know, 
be able to bring like true commercial equipment wherever you need to go. Yeah. Um, that's what we've struggled with and what we've actually needed, you know, combining multiple prosumer equipment. And now we can finally do that and we can do it in a, you know, six, a nice size six and a half foot bed with a tonneau cover, which is, you know, for the most part, pretty much waterproof. Mm -hmm. um, so for transport and for even like displaying uh, all the equipment and then having like the space um, it's just going to be an awesome way to showcase all sorts of technology. And then there's this smuggler's bay. So usually there's a, like a, a flip up lid that kind of like covers this area. Um, but we've removed it and actually having this is super nice because we can put a lot of like our drain stations, uh, things that wouldn't look nice to just put on the ground. You can just keep that mm -hmm. underneath the equipment. Um, and that, this, this thing can, uh, house water as well. Um, you can use it as a cooler. So even if something leaks, we can let it drain out and it'll just go underneath. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and you can already get a sense of what mods we're starting to do. I've custom welded these adapters that bolt into the like stock bolt locations for the truck bed. And then what that does is allows me to then bolt on these linear guide rails. And so this is gonna be the, the slide platform where it, what it's sit resting on most of the time. And it'll allow us to pull things in and out uh, easily and quickly. And yeah, be able to set up super easily and be able to take it all away and be ultra mobile with it. And being full electrically, you know, it's not like gonna generate fumes. There's not gonna be a ton of noise. It's not gonna be like a, a food truck where they have generators coming out the side. It's gonna be quiet. And um, we didn't wanna go that route too, because you know, whenever you're at a food truck, you're like super disconnected from whatever's happening in there. You just get your food or your items and you go. This way, we're just gonna have like a wide open platform. People can come up and talk to us. We can interact with people. Um, it's gonna be a really cool way to showcase and yeah, no generator, no noise. So um, it's gonna be amazing, I think. All right, I'm gonna carry it over. No, it's, uh, it's Aiden. I'm contributing a lot, as you see. <laughs> This is the idea with these uh, these rails is we can basically interchange different machines in here. And all right, all right. So I'm gonna put it here, and then uh, what I need help with is those two guides. They need to like line up perfectly with those rails. And then one more set here. Yeah. So hopefully this should be good. This will need to hold like 300 pounds. So. We're gonna see if that works. <laughs> yeah, this is the first machine we're gonna put on the truck. So again, we gotta shout out Voltage Cock Supply and also San Remo USA. Uh, so this is a two group cafe racer and uh, it is amazing. A big reason why I picked this machine is because uh, for, for power reasons, right? It's We have a lot more control on how much power the uh, cafe racer can draw. So you can kind of keep it in spec for uh, what the truck can output um, and still get a, a two group machine, which is awesome. But yeah, this is the first machine we're gonna stick on here. And uh, this is something that I want me to really talk about because this is what's really, really cool is swapping out the machines and how modular this uh, type of setup can actually be. That was the intent. And a lot of this credit to David from Voltage from you know being so open to like swapping out so and trying so many different uh, types of equipment to review. What you guys just saw was like the steel frame, which will permanently stay in the truck. And then these are just like wood inserts. So we'll basically make like a, a template, a wood insert for every single piece of equipment we wanna display. Mm -hmm. Every equipment mounts slightly differently. So this is like a really quick, easy way to do that. So the espresso machine is actually bolted to this platform. And this platform just sits right in the, uh, right in that main frame that we showed. Mm -hmm. So then it'll like bolt in from underneath and everything will be secure, um, but we can quickly take out a machine, put in another machine, assuming we have a couple of people <laughs> willing to uh, help lift it. <laughs> if you are a new coffee shopper, if you are even looking at commercial machines, there really isn't that much content out there. Big reason why we making this modular is we're able to rotate through all these different pieces of equipment, put it through the real world, use it in service. Like, I, I feel like I've spent hours watching content on like <laughs> Legome Mini versus <laughs> Zero. Sorry. You know? <laughs> uh, which was amazing. Cause like, you know, even for a couple hundred dollar purchase, like there's so much good content to help me like feel really confident in my decision. And then as a future cafe owner, like there's almost nothing out there. And I'm making like, you know, these purchases are gonna be in the tens of thousands of dollars. And it's mm -hmm. crazy to think that there's no good content, no like, completely unbiased reviews of this and like 
head-to-head -head comparisons. So I think Brian is going to have a really good like venue for us to like give that information to people and information that I looked for and couldn't find. Yeah. So. And you're going to review it yourself apparently. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but definitely. That's kind of my goal is to be able to show off the cool stuff. But also, if you wanted to make an informed purchase decision on a very expensive machine for your cafe, uh, this would be also a, a type of area that we're trying to focus on creating some some videos for you guys there. But yeah, otherwise, it's really cool. And again, shout out Voltage. This feet luckily already accepts like a M10 bolt. So you just drill the hole underneath and it's bolted to the platform. And then, yeah, with the nice covers, you can just cover that right up and it looks like it's just sitting there naturally, but it should be rock solid yep. for transport. Yeah, I mean, this is very, very stable. Just so you roll it slowly and keep a hand on it so yep. it doesn't slide got off. It. Okay, so we got the machine out here. It's on the platform and we can basically just load it onto here. The other nice thing, not just for loading this on, but also for our barista's sake is air suspension. And like being able to change the platform's height like super low and like super high means like, yeah, whatever is most comfortable for the barista, you know, doing their puck prep, doing their steaming, like we can just change it on the fly. Yeah. Nice little extra feature that we get with this truck. Yeah. And it also makes uh, loading on different machines easier because you're going to have different types of heights as well. But, yeah. Uh, so let me, let me lower this lower guy a little. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that is lower. Now it's easier for us to uh, load this on. Almost at the same level, yeah. Can't we just slide it in? Yeah, just don't let it drop down until we get it close to the right spot. <laughs> nice. Fits like a glove. There we go, wow, look at that. Measure that wasn't that once, hard. cut twice. No, that right? was pretty easy. So that was super easy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so All right. it slides, at least on this part. Oh, um, before we slide it for the back, I gotta tighten these bolts. Yeah, so if you, if you look at this, the cafe racer actually fits the Cybertruck aesthetic pretty well. <laughs> well, the rail is like the same angle. Yeah, you got the same angle here. Uh, it's got kind of the sharper lines. Um, and then, you know, you can just go out here and make the coffee and we can change the height. Let's see if this slides back. This is the dicey part oh look at that nice wow <laughs> works great let's see if it closes have faith wow oh no, that's no look at that that is that's cool look at that that's quite a shot yeah this would actually look pretty cool at night with the, the yeah. side lighting so that means your shots will always be level right <laughs> Theoretically. Theoretically. <laughs> <laughs> this will go in this bottom compartment. Built into like a pump thing before. Just MacGyvering it. Okay, so this feeds into the inlet of the pump. And then the outlet of this will be here. We're just plumbing in the Cafe Racer. Um, here we actually have a two... 40 volt outlet. So we can basically 240 right into there. And then this is where we're running all of the uh, plumbing. And then we have coffee water. So yeah, it's throw, throw water there. But the kind of idea is that uh, you can just have this plumbing set up here and we can just swap out the water all, all the time. We're gonna go and uh, set this up and see if it works. So far, so far things have been going well. This is a lot of firsts right now. Yeah. And I'm actually surprised everything is going okay. <laughs> it's missing a piece. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, so that's... All right. Take that. All right, so I think we have everything plugged in. Um, so the idea is this pump will suck from these two tanks. Somebody is going to need to go inside the truck to turn on the auxiliary okay, outlets. Okay, I can do that. We, so there's like controls bottom left and then hit the hit the slider on the left. Oh, got it. Yep, that's good. All right, so that's pretty cool. It shows you the uh, power oh, yeah, draw. Sorry. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2 kilowatts. So we're just running the pump out there, uh, which is for the water. And then 
we can come back here and look at what the uh, actual numbers say when we turn on the uh, San Remo. Cybertruck, super cool. Uh, I kind of want one now. This is really awesome. <laughs> the funny thing too is um, in, in here, the, uh, there's a manual for the uh, Cafe Racer. Just, uh, you, know, you know, keep one of these in your truck all the time. We're gonna plug this in and see if the Cafe Racer turns on. <laughs> all right. Ready? Ready. Plug this in. And then the power, power button. button. Oh, sick. <laughs> All right, it's booting up. Oh, wow. Filling the boiler. Can you flip the switch that's on the uh, accumulator? There's a little blue tab. Which way? Uh, there's only one way you can turn it. There you go. Now we're getting the fill. That will boost the pump a little bit. And let's see what the power draw is out of curiosity. So 0.5 kilowatts, so it has gone up. Um, once things get heated up, we can see uh, what the power usage is. But the really cool thing with the Cafe Racer is we, you, you can have so much control on the power end, so we can definitely modulate. I guess if, you're, if your uh, charge was low on your truck and you needed to serve coffee, you can, uh, <laughs> you can turn some parts of the machine off. Yeah, well, it's, it can lower, actually lower this it, power draw in the machine. Yeah, it's drawing 6.4 kilowatts right now on the display. To yep. Ooh. All right. Probably start heating those up. Here's a box of portafilters. Yeah, they sent a box of portafilters. Got spouted. Bottomless. Here, let's do the bottomless one. A ASMR moment. Oh, oh man. Uh, another, another. Do you, do you want to do no, this no, on you me? Got, you, you got it. it. You got it. As ASM, you second like ASMR moment. Oh, damn. <laughs> it's got the lights too. Love the San, San Remo lights. Oh, yeah, no, there we go. 10. Nice. Oh, nice. Looks like it doesn't have any air purge. Flowing pretty nice, actually. Sweet. And then we have 1.3 bars. I'm turning on the second group. So, yeah, you can actively see the um, power increase. It goes up to about uh, four or five kilowatts if you run both of the groups at the same time. Are you oh, going to wow. do your side or my side? I told you, it's slightly better than Woo. I do. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, this video. So I dropped the top of this track. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> I, am, I am looking forward to this steam power at the farmer's market. You, go, you can go any direction as well. And I wonder if you can like... Like... Modulate? Modulate, add, modulate the power. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Doing like a cortado. And you can go higher. Yeah, that's, you got a lot of control. Nice. Wow. Good job, San Remo. <laughs> Hot water cap nice. works too. Wow. Is there just one? There's one. Yeah, yeah, okay. one. But nice. um, it's fast. I mean, look how much water this, yeah. this has. You can now host mobile throwdowns, mobile coffee events. Oh, I mean, this is this is legit. How's this work surface height? I feel like this is actually pretty. Feels fine. Yeah. To dump it into no, the just nut. just dude, just like pull oh, the uh -huh. shot. It doesn't need to look good. You gotta let go. Oh. <laughs> I feel like that's more than twenty. That? Oh, what's the basket size? I think the basket. This is, is like small. an eighteen basket, oh. eighteen grams probably. We should probably change the. Okay, just just pull it. Pull it. Just pull it. Pull yeah. it. Pull it. <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 is this the Italian way? No. No. It's like Swedish or something. Oh, that is not <laughs> I'm going to get an autocomb, I feel no, like. Okay, just get an autocomb. Just get an autocomb. Auto just pull something. Yeah, just pull. Let's just I'll, see if it I works. will drink it. It's yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, it's just coffee. Get that distribution. No. Yeah, it seems like you got a good amount of prep area. That's good. I was worried about that. That's how big this grinder is. It's not a straight in. 
how to why make espresso. I just press one and go, right? The middle yeah, button is just like do continuous. regular on off, yeah. And then you just push it to turn it off, yeah. Once to turn on, once to turn off. I want to put some together. Very first shot <laughs> ever pulled on a cyber truck. All right, one, two, two, three, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a turbo. Oh, oh it's fast. Make it into a latte. Yeah, let's, let's do it. That's a very valuable coffee right there. Oh, this is actually brand new. <laughs> First beverage ever steamed on a uh, on a cyber truck. Let's we'll see how this goes. <laughs> There's a lot of steam power. That's nice. Definitely way more power than I'm used to. But it's sustained. Like, oh wow, yeah, not the, not the best. <laughs> You're just give me a milk I need over a, your truck. I need another, uh, no, it's fine, we're just gonna- It's fine, we're just, it's the first one. winged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is why we don't want white, because all the splatters. World's first latte ever made uh, on a, uh, on a cyber truck. Oh, that's thick. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's cool. Mm. <laughs> mm, mm -hmm. there Something about go. it be, being on a truck, it's just magical. Like even though yeah. it was an 11 second <laughs> shot. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> the milk was the <laughs> This is the best shot you ever had. Uh, this is just the best coffee I've ever had. <laughs> it's all the work you put into it. Officially, world's first ever espresso and latte made it. on a Cybertruck. We, we did it. As you see, we can have a ton of different things uh, in this truck, right? We can have different grinders here. We can have different brewers. We can have different... Right we still have, yeah, still have a ton of room. You can have all the stuff up there too. You could make somebody stand up there if you yeah. wanted to. Full water, full electricity. We are running effectively a cafe here, right? This is literally a cafe setup. Nice. Nice. Very fast. Very fast. What bird sets inside of there? <laughs> what bird sets inside of there? <laughs> Closer. Better. Way better. It's actually really quiet. It's so quiet, yeah. I think yeah, I think all those LMs would actually be pretty loud in terms of that. Alright, so um I just pulled a a shot here. This is so funny. Oh my god, that steam power is crazy. Woo! It's insane. One? I'm, I'm so amazed that this works. I mean, it's a good thing. I'm just in your backyard making coffee. <laughs> Two group commercial power. It's so fast. Oh, where did this come from? Oh, you brought it? <laughs> this picture? Yeah, that's for the capsule. So like, you steam it? Really? And then you put oh. it in a bigger jug? Yeah. Cool. Oh, if you want the lava ramex cup, it's over. So I don't remember how to pour out of handleless. Or it's been a while since I've done handleless. So <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no! I didn't push this in far enough. Oh. No. No, <laughs> I haven't pulled, I haven't done this in so long. How's the E80? Good. Is it? Okay. Ground by weight's really nice. It actually, I mean, the, the shot's much more dialed in, and this is tasting pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Five seconds longer. 
All right, that is the Cybertruck coffee setup. If you have any questions, let us know. It is raining, so we gotta wrap things up, but I wanna thank Mue Coffee Roasters and Vulture's Coffee Supply. We have so many more videos to make, uh, but this is just the start. We got the whole uh, cafe set up on a truck. It is yeah. so funny. First attempt and everything actually worked, so. Lots of polish needed, but um, this is super exciting that it just actually worked the first time. So. Yeah, and we made a fair bit of coffee with it, and it's it's it's, it's a mobile cafe setup. It's so fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for spending the time to watch this video. Uh, follow both uh, me, Moonwake, and also Voltage. Uh, everything will be linked in the description and on the screen here. Uh, but otherwise, thank you guys so much for spending the time to watch this video, and thank you so much, Ming, for uh, being on camera today and showing off the setup. If you want to find the setup in person, you can find it in Cupertino at the De Anza Farmers Market. Market. That will also be uh, linked in the description below as well. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. See you guys later. Yeah, thank you. All right. And then we can slide it over. <coughs> uh, you, that just needs to come on. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Are we on the. Follow uh, Moonwake at Moonwake Coffee Roasters on Instagram. Go to moonwakecoffeeroasters.com. Sign up for the emails. <laughs> and check out Voltage. Check out Voltage Coffee Supply. All your equipment needs. Yeah. Yeah, so that's how easy the setup is. You know, it's pretty <laughs> modular. That's one machine. Now we can put anything on this, which yeah. is anything is possible. Yeah. So, all right. Well, we'll see you guys later.